here from Benito. We're out on the green machine this morning. Uh, we are hopefully going to make it to Morton Island. So I'm just leaving Chocolate, uh, my local ramp, and it's about a uh, 15 nautical mile run. So I got uh, enough fuel, hopefully. <laughs> Find out. Let's go. Good on economy. The five meter is with a 70, so that'll be interesting. And um, we've got some crowd pots, so hopefully we'll go and get some sandies. And um, yeah, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. So um, the weather looks to be on our side. So it looks like we're having a time out on the water. We'll uh, head on out. Cheers. We're pulling off our first plant. It's hard to do one hand. What have we got? Oh, we got one swimmer. There we go. We'll check him. Got a nice size male sandy, so you can tell they're male by the triangle shape in the bottom, the sharp triangle shape in the bottom. So he's not a bad size sandy for the first one. So about 10 minutes soaking in, which is pretty quick. And I'll put the crab pot back in the water and go again. Alrighty, so just while I've given those crab pots a bit more of a soak, I'll give you a really good walk around at the boat. I've got it uh, decked out for the day out on Morton Bay. Um, I'm planning on heading over to Morton Island today, so I've got the tow tank full of fuel, and up in the front here I've got an extra jerry can. Um, just to be safe, you really don't want to run out of fuel, and um, also, yeah, you want to be safe, and uh, you can't get fuel over at Morton, so this do you want to be able to make it home. Front we have got a nice big ankle well. So I'm standing here at um, the bow, um, nice and easy to get in here. Got an anchor here. I've um, just got my rope just to tie off at the wharf this morning. The jetty, sorry. Uh, cleat in the front to tie your anchor rope off to. Uh, nice and easy, super large, super accessible. Coming back, we've got dry storage. So this is where I've got all my safety gear and fuel for the day. So you got the flares down in here and um, two life jackets and so all the other safety gear I need for the day out. Um, keeping the deck nice and free of uh, potter. Great for crab pots and put all four in there, super easy. So um, yeah, really good, dry storage, super practical. Um, then coming down the side, we've got one side pocket on this boat. You can option two, up, two like you can on the other Benitos, or you can option a center seat. They're fully fiberglass in all the way across the central port seat. It's got two lids, so I'll put in a picture of that in, into the video. Um, yeah, it gives you a lot more seating in the boat. Uh, deck, which you can sleep on because it's massive, or you can have the seat running across the middle. Um, so the side pockets are fully fiberglass on, so I've got some snacks, crowd measure off, my long sleeve sun shirt down there, and a spare pair of shorts. If I swim, hopefully a bit lower. Car keys and everything in there. Um, so, yeah. Super, heaps of storage in this boat. Um, super practical. Uh, just an SD down in here. Um, coming down the back, we've got room for two tote tanks. So just give you a total of 48 liters in the back. So these fit snugly down the sides so they don't move. And then you've got your battery here for the uh, Yamaha 70 horsepower, which is also, I've been cruising across out here so far into this bay, you know, fairly calm bay shop um, at 25 knots. So uh, super awesome, tops out at about 32. And um, yeah, it's, it's just super quiet as well. Um, I've got non-skid down here on the seats on both sides. It's got a cushion, I've got a big trip playing today. Um, and then in the middle, middle we've got Benito and Scrub. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nice big motor well. I've had no water come over the back of the motor well into the boat at all, which is really nice. Then on the back we've got the transom steps so yeah these are rated to 115 horsepower um which is insane um <laughs> they'll do over 40 knots no problems 70 is just a perfect match there for this boat um and then of course we've got the non-skid floor and full fiberglass construction composite transom composite floors never rot tough as nails 10 year hull warranty and uh it's a boat for life Alrighty, we're pulling up a second pot and we have got another sandy. Woo! That's awesome. Alright, just while I got this crab pot in, I'll show you what I'm using for bait. So, 
had these crab pots for years, but um, the stainless steel clip in here in the base, and I'm using a chicken frame for bait. So these work really well for sandies and muddies. Um, you just always want to make sure I sit on the bottom so the crabs can't eat it from the bottom. So you throw them out and uh, keep your crab pot nice and level. Make sure your rope's not tangled before you throw it over the side. And yeah, you just want to throw your your float well clear of the boat and you're right to move on to the next one. Just under an hour, so uh, 15 miles, probably cruising at about 20 knots. It's uh, pretty sloppy actually, which is not ideal, but um, just drop the crab pots off over in some four or five meter water and um, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna head over to the sand dunes now, I think, and just have a break, to be honest. It's a long way, it's about 15 nautical miles from shore, so it's a uh, fair drive, that's for sure, in that 70 or the here. So, um, but good news is though, we used about half a tank of fuel, well, not even half a tank of fuel, including all my running around this morning. So, uh, I reckon we'll make it back on the single tote tank without any touching any of the uh, spare fuel, which is really nice. Good to know. Yeah, really awesome on fuel, super quiet. It's been really easy to handle, uh, hasn't been a problem. Been cruising alongside the 660, taking our time. So, yeah, done really well. We'll uh, head over to the sand dunes in a second and I'll uh, see you over there. Oh, I think I just saw lightning. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh no, it's going to be a big trip back. I just take it up. We're going to have something to eat. And it looks like it's about to start raining, so it's a bit unfortunate. But, uh, Yes, yeah, been an adventure to say the least. We left over Shonkla this morning, it's beautiful and you can see the size of this rain cloud. Yeah, not ideal. Alrighty, we made it back to uh, Shonkla after a pretty full day of an out on the water. So we left pretty early this morning and it's just after nearly two o'clock now. And uh, we're back, we've got three sandies. I think we're gonna call more if we're done. Stayed at uh, Shoplift and uh, continued to grab the run up tide. But I uh, wanted to try getting the pots over at Morton and had a go. Unfortunately, didn't get anything. But um, yeah, we made it back 20, just over 24 litres of fuel because um, yeah, it was yeah full tote tank to get there and back, plus some running around this morning. So I think that's pretty awesome. It's about 15 nautical miles each way from Shoplift, so it's a fair run. Um, took about an hour each way. We did uh, cruise back at about 27 knots, so pretty quick and brisk, really. Um, yeah. All in all, it's been a great day out in the water in the five meter islander, and um, it handled it well. Uh, it was choppy going across, it was really choppy, so yeah, definitely something to be proud of. And um, if this boat interests you, it is available. Um, it's got a 70 horsepower brand new Yamaha on it. Aluminium trailer, side pocket, transom steps on this one, and the bright neon green. So, um, yeah, if this interests you, let us know, and um, we're happy to make you a deal. Cheers, we'll see you out in the water. <laughs> 